Uh, to ask the Scottish Government whether the Finance Secretary plans to allocate to local authorities any funding from the block grant that has arisen as a result of Barnet consequential funding from the UK Government's Swimming Pool Support Fund. Minister Joe Fitzpatrick. Thank you. Local sport and leisure facilities, including swimming pools, are vital in supporting the physical and mental health of the nation. Compared to the less than £6 million of consequentials the Scottish Government received for swimming pools following the UK Government's budget, the Scottish Government allocated £100 million of additional funding to local government at Stage 3 of the Budget Bill, funded in part by those consequentials. Dr Samson. Thank you, President Officer. I think it's immoral of this Government to get funding for swimming pools from the UK Treasury, but not pass it on for its intended purpose. In Aberdeen, Buxburn uh, swimming members, pool. Members, we need to hear Mr. Lumsden. Mr. Lumsden. Thank you, President Officer. In Aberdeen, Buxburn swimming pool was closed and has been stripped back to the walls by the local SNP council, are being taken to court by their own citizens over the closure. Yep. Is the minister happy that swimming pools in our communities are being forced to close? Minister. The member knows, I, I know because he was a, a local councillor, that councillors are democratically elected to make decisions on the priorities in their local communities. It's really important that as elected members we respect the, the democratic mandate of councillors across Scotland. But I think the difference here, that the money has all been allocated, the difference here is clearly that Mr Lumsden is coming to this chamber asking um, um, the Scottish... Minister, Sorry. please resume your seat for a second. There are members shouting across all parts of the chamber. That is not acceptable. The Minister has been asked a question. We must listen to the Minister's response. Minister. Presiding officer. As, as I've said, the money has been allocated. The money was allocated to budgets as part of a £100 million additional funding um, at stage three that, that went to local government. What Mr Lumsden is coming here asking is that that money should have been ring-fenced. Now, I encourage Mr Lumsden to speak to his local government colleagues because I know that his local government colleagues are looking for greater flexibility. They are not asking us to come and ring fence more and more pots of money. In fact, they're asking exactly the opposite, for greater flexibility so they can use their democratic mandates to determine what is best for their local communities.